Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be cleaning this Samsung Sync Master 700S CRT monitor. So as you can see, I've gotten something hooked up to it just to show that it works. So I've got Windows 95 booting up right here. And uh, yeah, it works great. It might be on its way out, but it's a nice little monitor that I can use to hook, use for vintage setups. I'm not sure if you heard the laptop startup sound, but anyways, let's shut this thing down. If it finishes loading into Windows 95. So uh, you can already see the dirt down here. It's pretty bad. So it definitely needs a cleaning. You can see the stand down there is pretty dirty. So must have been stored in like a shed or something in order to get this much dirt. But let's just let's just turn it off. Disconnect the monitor from power. So on the back here. Let's get those cables out of the way. And let's get to cleaning this monitor. So, first of all, is the screen. So what I've got here is your standard paper towel and alcohol. So I'm going to spray the alcohol onto the paper towel and wipe it down. So that's nice and clean. So you can clean the bottom here, the bottom part of the display. I forgot my q-tips but whatever so just give it a quick wipe down you can wipe off the top with some alcohol so there's the top sprayed down it look already looks a lot better it's pretty dirty I want to be careful with the CRT. There's some adhesive. There's Velcro previously stuck to this, so you gotta get this dirt off. Go straight into the trash can. So now let's focus on the stand. Now. As you can see, the stand is pretty dirty. So, what we're gonna do is fold the paper towel into half, and then I'm gonna spray alcohol on the stand, and then onto the paper towel. That's looking better, but it's still dirty underneath. You can see it's disgusting. Oh, I should have t t taken before and after photos. Don't worry, I have iPhone 7 here to take picture of monitor. So I'm gonna move this iPad out of the way. Um... Good enough. Okay, good enough. So, let's continue cleaning the stand here. Ow. I just hurt myself on the 
stand for the iPad. So the hardest part of this this cleaning is going to be getting the bottom of the monitor because then I need to flip the monitor on its side or something. So now I want to, I want the whole monitor to turn. Okay, so let's clean this side. Got paper towel. Just wipe it down. This part, this side isn't too dirty, which is good. So, yeah, this side is already. Pretty clean, yeah, no dirt coming off of that. So, just a quick wipe down. Just spray paper towel. This monitor is, is going to be a pretty good example of a CRT monitor from the 90s. It's going to be good for my collection. Just cleaning under the stand there. I'm going to have to clean under the monitor at some point in this video. That's not a good sound. Anyways. Wipe this side down. So this side is pretty dirty. I that didn't make it into the trash can, whatever. Yeah. So So yeah, this side here is a lot more dirty than the other side. And also, this monitor isn't too yellowed, so I guess that's one good thing. So, so far, the monitor is pretty clean. Now we gotta do the bottom. And the bottom will be saved for later, because now, What I need to do, if the monitor will turn, okay. okay. These monitors. Okay. I'm not a professional with these monitors. I don't really know how to <laughs> work the stands with on these monitors. This will have to do. So, what I'm going to do first is take a toothbrush. Spray some alcohol on it. This is an old toothbrush. So I'm going to scrape the dirt here. As you can see. A lot of the dirt is coming off. But of course, we will need to go at this with some baking soda. We can get some of the controls down here. So, now that some of that dirt is gone, what I need now is baking soda cleaning time. I don't know why what I just said. But here is a sponge, a dish sponge that you use in the kitchen to wash your dishes specifically that has baking soda in it. In my last video, I used this. 
so that I could get the dirt on it off of it. Yeah, that is cleaning it pretty good. Yeah, that is cleaning it pretty well. It looks a lot better. Can do it on the sides here, the bottom. This is looking a lot better. Plastic sounds. It's a pretty dirty. That well, I'm saying that's a lot of dirt coming off of there, and the sponge is also dirty. <laughs> the sponge is only meant to get off the visible grime, and then the alcohol just wipes the rest of it off. So the top, the front looks pretty good, besides a few minor things that I'll have to get later. And now is the stand. So I'm gonna get go at it with the Oh that that cleaned off pretty fast. You see that? Gone. So that dirt right there. It's gone. Can now use paper towel to wipe that off. Yeah, that looks pretty clean. Some dirt on the sides here. So there's dirt in these little corner things right here. So I'll have to get that, especially that side. So, core. A little more water so I can get in the more hard to reach places so I know you can't see everything here but <clears throat> he already saw how dirty it was before especially the front and I do have a lot of dirty things in my house right now I have another ViewSonic CRT monitor that I I probably that I use with my very old systems because that won't work with the modern ones. That one doesn't support like the newer video cards and stuff or graphics processors. So around the back. So already looking a lot better. Let's move on to the top. So I've got my sponge, and let's look at this dirt. So, it may look like I'm making it more dirty, but if we spray a little bit of alcohol on it, grab a paper towel, And no, this is not some spread or paste, it's baking soda. So, now that I've sprayed the alcohol in here, and we wipe it down, looks brand new. And what I mean by brand new, I mean it looks a lot better. Oh, my microfiber cloth is in there. That microfiber cloth will not be used in this video. So, if you're wondering why I'm making my video so late today, I was out doing stuff. So, I decided to put it off, or delay it today. You can, I know that the camera is shaking. It's called low production quality. 
So this dirt right here. All cleaned off. Got the paper towel in there. I still have to get this adhesive mark off. So the plastic is still a little bit yellowed. You can see the difference from when the adhesive was there and when it wasn't. Or the difference between where the adhesive was and the rest of the monitor. So now the next part is the vents here. And the problem is the liquid might get inside. So what I'm going to do is very lightly scrub it, which will still work, obviously. So get the dirt on the sides. Get the dirt right here. And then use paper towel to wipe the rest of it off. Now, there's some dirt in the holes. And this is alcohol on the toothbrush, so I don't have to worry. There's some holes there that are actually going through the whole case. So, let's take paper towel. And there we go, it looks good as new. So the whole top and front look a lot better. Out of focus. Okay. Anyways, get this thing back on the top here. Wipe the screen down once more with a paper towel. So there is a little bit of dirt on the, right here. Maybe I need to use the baking soda on here too. So, spray it down once again, wipe it down. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And there is some dirt right here. You can't really see it well on camera. Oh, you can't. So that is all of this brown stuff right here on the sponge all from this monitor. So, wipe that down. So that looks pretty good so far. There's some dirt on the sides here. get the gaps here on the side with the toothbrush so this side also needs a cleaning so there's some dirt at the bottom oh you couldn't you guys couldn't see it so get this whole side, spray this whole side. So that looks pretty good right there. Now the other part of the monitor. So we're gonna give Give this a scrub with the baking soda sponge and spray it down, wipe it down with alcohol and a paper towel. Looks pretty good so far. There's some dirt 
on my wrist. Let's wipe that off. There, now my, not my, yeah, my wrist. My wrist is now good as new. Now here's the back of the monitor. Can also wipe this down with the baking soda sponge. Wipe it down. There we go. Now get in the gaps there with toothbrush and alcohol. That's pretty good so far. Why do I keep saying so far? So, the upper part of the monitor, or the monitor is clean. Now time to get the bottom of it. Let me throw these dirty paper towels away real quick. So, this one should be fine. It's only a little dirty. So, flip the monitor on its side. That is a lot of dirt. There's even a small spider web. So, what I'm going to do is get rid of that spider web by getting that with a paper towel and the feet here are barely even just there, they're so worn out. Okay, so that's how it works. It's easier to move it on the, on the side, which is pretty obvious. So. Cleaning time once again. So, baking soda, thing, sponge, water. So, what, 22 minutes already. So there is some dirt on the power button here. So it is getting better. Anyways, on to the part where we're actually cleaning. The feet here. I'm probably going to replace these and put furniture feet over them because it allows you to slide the monitor the floor without scratching it because upstairs I have a hardwood floor and of course furniture feet would help a lot so feet here are pretty dirty so make the make sure you clean pretty good. So this is going to go on the table or whatever place you're going to put this on. So I'm not going to do too much cleaning in here, mostly because it's cramped and nobody's touched this part of the monitor really that much. So I'm going to continue. Cleaning this, and then cleaning the dirt off of the monitor here, or the vents. So, cleaning this part, this metal here also needs a cleaning.
spray that all with alcohol. Sorry. That's a little loud, to be honest. So, moving on to this side right here. I just got my alcohol bottle. So, well, isopropyl alcohol, not alcohol. You know, not drinking alcohol. So, gonna wipe this part down where that dirt is. Might as well wipe the bottom part here as well. There we go. Wait, a little more of the monitor here, which is has some marks on it. Make it look a lot better. And yeah, it looks pretty good. So yeah. Let's see if it still works. First, I'm gonna wipe the side that thing is laying on. Maybe spray it on the table as well. Okay, it's still filming, that's good. Already 27 minutes. It's insane. So, let's just give it another wipe down. Get some alcohol. So, there we go. Monitor is all nice and clean now. Let's see if it still works. So let's plug it in to power and turn it on. Good, it still works. The power light is on. That's good. Let's see if it can still get the video output from a computer such as this. Winbook FX, which is the computer on the floor right now, outputting the signal or the video. Wait, that's not a good sound. The monitor, so plug it in here. Okay, let's see if it still works. So I'm gonna turn on the laptop. Oh, it's got a signal. No? Oh, it's doing it from the display. Well, it detected some signal, at least. Hopefully, can get something on here. I think I'll have to set the display settings again. Yep, they reset. So, once the computer here finishes starting up, hopefully I can get this all in one video. The trackpad here is glitching out. Only the track point works. Settings, control panel, no. Okay, the video didn't stop. Control panel, no. Control panel. Okay. 
the video is still recording. Monitor refresh. Uh, not refresh. Refresh. Fresh. Refresh. Okay. There we go. Now it should be outputting from the monitor. I can't see anything. Um, Alta 4. There we go. So the monitor is working just fine as it did before. Can shut it down. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys uh, check out my Twitter at ufelix5. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.